What's going on, Prophetic Weekly? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Today we have a really good top-notch show, broadcast, podcast, whatever you want to call it. And hey, I'm wearing my new shirt my wife got me for our 24th anniversary. We went on an anniversary trip and she got me this shirt. So I thought I would wear it on the podcast today. All right. Hey, today's going to be really good. And I hope you are excited about what God is doing. Before we get into this, I just want to share one or two quick things the Lord gave me over the last week or two. One of them is nothing is as it seems. Don't don't get your mind bothered. Don't get chaotic. Don't get into clutter and chaos in your mind. God's got a plan and his plan is going to come forth because we are going to pray and see the plans of God manifest on the earth because God has a whole lot that he wants done in the earth right now. And you and I are going to accomplish the will of the Father, so it's all going to be good, all right? Okay, let's get into this. Got a lot of great words today. First word is by Chuck Pierce, and he said, we are called to the harvest, and the Spirit of the Lord is aligning us to be sent forth into our fields right now. Time out. Time out. Last Sunday, my wife had a prophetic word. She got it in, in early morning prayer. But the, the Lord spoke to her and said, June is going to be a harvest month. Be ready to receive your harvest in June. Prepare for your harvest in June. And then I read this word by Prophet Chuck Pierce. These words align perfectly. Let's continue. Do not fear the division that would separate you from the familiar and keep you from advancing as part of the kingdom troops. Here is a portion of the prophetic revelation I heard to help us, to prepare us for the dividing that will send us forth into the harvest. This will be a time of dividing out. I'm beginning to divide. I'm beginning to raise up. Said those who are divided out and set aside will conquer what I have put in their path. Know that this will be a time of sanctification. You know, that's one of the biggest problems I see in the body of Christ. People aren't sanctified. People do not go through a sanctification process with the Lord. Uh, a lot of people accept the Lord, may be filled with the Spirit. They may see a few signs and wonders here and <laughs> stuff. But people really don't hunger for the things of God and dive in deep to the Word of God and to the prayer meetings and the place of God so that they can walk in the full sanctification that the Lord has for them. Okay? Um, Prophet Pierce goes on to say that the enemy is, is rising up right now but we are going to rise even higher. The Lord is saying, get ready. I am dividing you out um, in, into what's coming. I'm going to divide people into states, into nations, and the earth. The, the time that, that the Lord is putting people in the right places. Um, Chuck Pierce said he was praying. He felt the Lord say, I know who is following me, and I know who is just lingering. And I know who has been pulled aside rather than the ones who were aggressively coming after me. God is about to position people like he's never positioned people before. And that is exciting. He said, this is a time to press together. Um, it's a time to come together to see great things. This is a time that we are going to produce a corporate fragrance as unto the Lord. The Lord says, I am a possessor of heaven and earth, and I'm a possessive God who longs to call forth my possessions. Watch carefully for this is a time of new harvest fields. I have designated the harvest fields and I am getting the harvesters ready. That's a good word right there. Next word is by Nate Johnson. He said, recently I had a dream th three nights in a row and I be believe that the, the dream is the Lord speaking very plainly hey if you have the same dream three nights in a row that's a good indication god is up to something powerful and he said uh 
you know, before I share the dream, you know, what the Lord was speaking to me was spiritual and natural recession. Since 2020, there has been an assignment or a recession constantly trying to take the church out and make the church backpedal, okay? Uh, um, and, you know, let me just ask you this. Going into 2020, Autumn and I, our life, everything was in a position that we were just about to just everything, spiritually, financially, everything, just move in a new level that we've never been in, and 2020 hit. But but the word Nate is sharing is something God told me back then, it's going to come back. And when it comes back, it's going to come back stronger. So you are about to far surpass anything that you were building even in that season. It says, um, this is why the financial systems have been shaken, the interest rates have skyrocketed, and the people have gone into survival mode because this has been a hard four years. But the Lord is stopping the recession and he's moving things forward. Yes, the enemy has even been afraid of the church and was afraid that we were going to build an inf uh, infrastructure for, for the years to come. He has even tried to bring back a poverty mindset upon the body of Christ and hope deferred spirit. Um, this is why that we have seen a great delay in promised provision, breakthroughs, and plans. I know I'm speaking to somebody. If that's you, right me. I mean, can somebody top me for me? <laughs> when you're watching this, this is a season of great breakthrough, okay? Whew, this has got me excited. This is all changing. Uh, and so I'm going to explain. This is a long dream, but I'm going to explain what it is. Is Nate basically went down to the river um, and it was fishing and go look this word up. It's on um, Prophetic Daily. It is on. Um, it's a Facebook page. I have this word on there. It's Prophetic Daily. But he he basically caught a fish in the dream and had three three coins and the three coins were this: pay debt, sow, and build. Okay, debt, sow, build. Pay off your debt, sow and build. That's the three coins. And it, it's, he explains it in this, but but go hear it. But the, the main thing is this, is that God is about to bring provision back to the house of the Lord and to the kingdom-minded people because we are about to move forward and advance, okay? Um, I'm going to share three words that are going to go together right now. First one is by Jonathan Shuttlesworth. He says, that for the rest of the year, the next seven months, he feels for most kingdom-minded people will be the best seven months of your life. You're about to have the best seven months of your life if you focus on God and what he's doing for the rest of 2024. Okay? Uh, my wife kind of shared that, but she had the word about harvest. Just harvest is coming in June, and it's going to be strong. I was listening to Prophet Joshua Giles, and he was talking about how the summer months, like basically um, June through August, that we were going to have, he said it was almost like old school Pentecostal services, but just the power of the Holy Ghost moving, the glory of God coming in, and things manifesting. And I don't know about you where you go to church, but like here at our hub, our church, it's just, it is, everybody says this, it builds every week. It gets stronger and stronger. And, and this is going to continue. In fact, we're about to have some revival nights. I'll let everybody know. And y'all can just come on in to Texarkana and, and y'all can join us in that, okay? Um, also, uh, Sophie Ruffins, uh, I read something that I think Apostle Ryan Lestrange posted that she said, but the last six months of this year are, are going to be off the charts with the Lord, just off the charts. And then, you know, Jonathan Shuttlesworth said he feels that the last seven months, um, and then you look at what Joshua Giles said about the, the next, you know, three months of the Spirit. When you have three months of the Spirit, that just pushes you out there in everything that you do um, to even 
be in a stronger dimension, okay? Um, next word is by Matt Songer. I don't know if I've ever shared anything on here, but a powerful prophetic voice. He said, uh, there are those few occasions where you pour yourself into people. Now listen to me. This is going to help some people heal, okay? Something I'm going to start doing on here is I share prophetic words, but also I'm going to start sharing some things prophetic people teach that will help you because this is very prophetic. There are those few occasions where you pour yourself into to people and spend time with them and help them, and then they turn around and stab you in the back or, or bite you. He said, it, does, it happens. He said, but what I've learned, the secret of having an unoffended heart is always much better to forgive, love, shake it off, rather than to let it get down on the inside of you. Oftentimes, people are miserable, and it's not you. They're just, just hurting people. Always remember this, hurting people hurt people, okay? He said that's probably just a pattern in their life, but focus on all of the amazing people that add value to your life and who are whole and who are healthy. There's a whole lot more of those people. Focus on those people. And that's what we got to do today. Don't focus on who hurt you. Don't focus on who left you. But focus on who is right before you. Right before you. I remember I was preaching at a revival. And when I said we had a service. When you have a service and people are saved, rededicated, demons cast out, filled with the Holy Spirit, signs, wonders, miracles, healings, tears in the altars. That's a good service, okay? And the pastor and the associate and the youth pastor were talking about, man, oh, so-and-so didn't come. So-and-so didn't come. I said, hey, y'all seen people got saved tonight? Yeah, so-and-so didn't come. One of our deacons didn't come. Did you see how many people got healed tonight? They're like, well, so-and-so didn't come. I said, hey, did you see how many people rededicated their life? How many people were worshiping, hands up, tears running down their face, praying in the Spirit, rededicating their life? They were like, yeah. I said, listen, I don't know how many people you run in the church, but you had a few hundred here tonight. And we had a powerful service. Let's rejoice in who was here. Let's rejoice. It's a good time. It's a good season, okay? I want you to know that I love you guys. Hey, if you need prayer, go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the place for prayer. Hit it. Send us a prayer request. Like always, I want to thank our prayer and financial partners. And also, my wife and I started a new show up. It's on YouTube. This is called The JoJo and Autumn Show. And we just sat down and we just kind of talked for about 30 minutes. Let's talk about things. And so you might want to check that out. Because the world needs people to talk straight to them in this day and this hour. Okay? I love you guys. And I hope you all have an absolute amazing day.